Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jocelyn, Warmly Jocelyn. Thank you so much for joining me today again for another week, friends. As y'all can see, today we are talking all about this one thing that has the power to shape your life in every way, even in ways that you don't even know. So have you ever noticed when you say, oh, I'm having such a bad day, that it continues to suck? The day continues to be a bad day. Maybe you lock yourself out of your apartment or you miss your train. Have you ever stopped to wonder why that's happening? It's because you are using the law of attraction. And that's what's interesting about the law of attraction. It works even when you don't even, you're not even actively and consciously trying. The law of attraction attracts more of what you are putting out energetically, the way that you're thinking, the, the things that you are speaking. It is always working negatively or positively. And friends, that's what I wanna to talk to you all today about is using the law of, of attraction for your good and for your benefit by being mindful of what you say and the energy that you are putting out. Because even when you're not trying, it is always working. So what I wanna do today is delve into how this one tool is shaping your whole life and how we can use it with these steps. The first sign or step that you could be using to shape your life better and attract the things that you want in your life is watching your words. Friends, this might be, duh, this is a given. Of course I'm gonna be watching my words. Of course I'm going to be saying all the right things. Uh-uh, it's in those things that are deeply ingrained in us. Have you ever said things like, I'm starving? Or, oh my God, you're gonna die when I tell you this. All of those things are also words that have power. I have stopped saying I'm starving because I never want to be in a position where I'm starving, where I cannot access food, where it has gotten so bad to the, po to the point of starvation. Now, instead I say, I could eat or I have an appetite. So let's stop saying that. Let's stop saying that. We never want to be in an economic state where we are in a, in, in a place of starvation in our life. As little and minute as that sounds, it holds weight, friends. It holds power. We, we don't want to just be saying mindless things like that. Even though it's a very popular thing to say, everyone says it, it's probably harmless, it's no big deal, but it is. But it is, we never wanna put out that sign to the energy that I do not have enough or I lack to where I am starving. So that's one thing. Or even saying like, oh my God, you're gonna die when I tell you this. Oh my God, I die. Or oh my God, all of that talk around death that we use so casually and the way that we just throw it out there. I know that, friends, I know that it is it, d it doesn't have meaning when we're saying it. We don't mean it literally. But if we don't mean it literally, why even say it? Why even have empty words like that that we're throwing around casually? Instead, just say, you won't believe what I have to say. Or I'm so excited to share my news with you. Like, let's just be mindful. Because if, it, if you don't mean it literally, you shouldn't say it. If it is not fact or truth, literally, let's not say it. So I think it's really about minding your words and I'm still even getting getting the hang of this. I will sometimes say, oh, I didn't mean that or what I meant to say is this. So if you can correct yourself, correct yourself because we wanna always be sending the right energy out. We wanna be sending out positive things, the things that we actually mean and the words that we intend to say. My next point is believing in what you desire. When I'm asked, how am I doing? I say, I always say, people can attest to this in my life. I always say, live in the dream. And even if I'm not living the dream that day or that week, I bring 
that energy forward. And it's not to be confused with toxic positivity because that's not, that's not what I'm getting at. But what I am getting at is bringing forth good energy and believing my desire. I desire to live the dream. I desire for my life to be dreamy. I desire to have like the best of things. So if I am asked how I'm doing, I'm gonna bring that energy forward because I am agreeing energetically that that's with that's what I want. I want to be living the dream. I want my my days to be so elevated and so high frequency that it feels like is this a dream because of all the blessings because of all of the goodness and I genuinely believe that that has worked for me. I believe when I'm saying I, I'm living the dream at best my days are better. I'm just attracting that energy back to my first point. So I know that sometimes there's this 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 almost people being too humble. Say how you how are you doing? Oh, uh, I can't call it. Um, uh, I just want the, you know, just getting by. Uh, I'm just surviving or uh like what is that? We got to get that energy up off of us. Like I when I'm asking how you're doing, I want you to be like, you know what? I'm doing wonderful like speaking positivity speaking life over yourself even if it's not true back to an older video i had about like you got to be a little bit of delulu you got to be a little bit delusional even if that's not where you're at it's like that's where i'm going that's where i'm headed i have vision for that i it may not look like that right now but i'm believing in my desires i'm believing that my desires are not placed in me by accident i'm believing that the desires that i have in my heart are intended to to be birth to be brought to fruition that it's not by accident so i'm going to speak on those desires i'm going to breathe life into those desires as long as they line up with what the purpose of my life is right you have to be so purposeful you have to be so intentional you have to mean what you say and say what you mean that's how these the law of attraction works you have to think about like in my mind i am thinking these things you have to get a hold of your mind and it's okay if it's it's not perfect every time but it's like if you start practicing something enough how long does it say that it takes for things to become a habit like when you are like training your mind to break some of these cycles and break some of these thinking patterns and develop new thinking patterns and new ways of thinking and new ways of doing at some point it's just going to become your default so keep trying keep like monitoring your mind keep like correcting poor thinking believe in these desires call them out and then when you are having grievances like let's just say because life is not perfect life does not go how it how you're intending it to go all the time something that i do is i bring my grievances to god i bring my grievances to a therapist i bring my grievances to my journal because these are safe spaces proven safe spaces that i can let these things out but they're not breathing life me just like spilling all of my issues out onto my friends or to my boyfriend or what is that actually doing because what can they actually do they can't make these they don't have resolve they don't have ways to to change the situation so i think that when you have grievances or you have things in your life that aren't going the way that you want or that are tough or that are challenges in your life bring it to god bring it to a journal bring it to a therapist things and and energies that can actually help you come up with resolve that can unclog your mind that can help you think through things clearly where you're not just spilling things out like recklessly and speaking them out in energetically in a safe way you know what I mean like let's be a little bit more careful for what we're saying and what we're we're, we're speaking and what we're doing because I promise you the good things will come forth the good things will manifest the good things will be brought to fruition in the same way i think for my point three is being picky with who you share your words with who you share your dreams with i know that we like to think that everyone is cheering for us everybody is rooting for us everybody wants us to win and that's not always true and because of that some things are better left 
in private. Some things are better left as your own little dream so that it doesn't have interfering opinions. Because when you invite people into your dreams or what you're working on or certain goals, those goals immediately become y'alls like it's no longer just yours now people are checking on you how are you how are you getting on with xyz goal or how's this coming along and you could have even changed your mind about some things right you could have even changed your mind about how you want to approach things but now you have let people into your dreams and your goals and what you're doing and what you've got going on behind the veil and behind the curtain that now there's this obligation to update there's this entitlement that people feel now that you have let them in not all the time but oftentimes so i think that sometimes if things are too premature or if things are still in the incubator hold on to those things and this is a lesson that i have really had to learn the hard way that i am an oversharer i connect by sharing i connect by by engaging like oh my god let me tell you about my whole life um, and it's like, I've really had to like take steps back from that because one, everybody's not rooting for you, but two, that's kind of inappropriate in some senses, right? Like there are some things that God gave to you. He didn't give it to you and your friend and your friend and your friend and your mama. And your, he didn't give it to all of them. Some things are just going to make sense to you. That's why it's on you. That's why you have it. That's why you carry it. So you don't need to be petitioning all these people. You don't need to be gathering all of these opinions. Wait until it gets to a state of maturity to be shared like i'm not saying that don't let people into the goodness of your life but i do think that when it is in that premature stage keep it to yourself like we got to do better about keeping things to ourselves because some things you can really block or hinder by letting too many people in you get too soon like letting too many people in too soon so like have some privacy and and be picky with what you're sharing and with who and when you're sharing it for my fourth point is live as if you already have it this is my favorite part about about prayer and manifestation is living as though i already have it so let's just say for example you are trying to get pregnant and you are actively working and trying to have a baby maybe you if it's time to upgrade your or turn in your your vehicle or whatever you're like you know what i'm gonna get a more family friendly car or maybe i'm gonna start saving for a nursery or it's just like taking those actions of faith to already act as though you have it maybe you're trying to buy that home or that 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 move into that place before it even like comes into fruition, maybe you start taking tours of it. Maybe you start getting a feel of the neighborhood. There are things that you can do to act as if you already have it. Those things are in your control. Those things you don't need permission to do. You don't need permission to test drive that car that's your, your dream car. You don't need permission to start buying baby clothes if you're like, you know what, I'm believing that me and my husband are gonna get pregnant. You don't, like there are things that actions and faith-filled actions that you can take now that are, are, are agreeing energetically like this is already mine. I already possess this. This already has my name on it. And it's like coming into that agreement, right? It's already yours, friends. It already belongs to you. The address is already has your name on it. The baby is born, right? Figuratively and literally, right? So I just think that taking certain action, faith action steps of possessing that you already have it is a massive way of actually attracting it. Number five, I would say is, is beginning to live a positive lifestyle or making positive changes. So what does that look like? That looks like getting more wisdom over your finances. That could look like going to work out, making better food choices. That can look like making, that could also look like going to therapy 
or deciding to have a spiritual life, right? Like just making positive changes in your lifestyle to one, just like kind of boost morale, but also to attract good things, right? Like when you're living a positive life, you're going to attract positive things. If you are making healthier decisions, you are going to have an appetite for healthier things. And once you start understanding how to crack that code, you'll see that the, that certain things are starting to spring up in your life. Certain things are manifesting. You're attracting certain things. You're like, wow, like, how is this all happening? It's because you are vibrating at that frequency. You're vibrating more positively. You're making those, those healthier changes in your life. You're doing things that align with your future higher self. So all of these things, all of these signs and all of these steps just kind of graze the surface. But if you start here, if you start with these five steps, I'm telling you, you're gonna be unstoppable. I'm telling you in a year's time, your life can look completely different. So I just wanted to impart some of this on you of what has worked for me. Most of the things in my life have been manifestations, have been prayers from my mom or prayers from ancestors or just certain things energetically there's so much going on energetically in the spirit realm and in the unseen that we are not privy to but there are ways that we can connect we can connect with the holy spirit we can connect with our ancestors we can connect energetically to bring in good things in our current life so i don't know y'all i hope this isn't too woo woo for you but that's truly what i believe like i wholeheartedly believe in everything that I'm saying. I wholeheartedly believe in it because I've seen it. I've seen it happen. I've seen it come to fruition. I've seen it in real life in my life. So friends, let's buckle down. Let's get focused and let's start implementing some of these things in our life. Let me know what has helped you. Drop it below in the comments. I can't wait to review and see. And until next time, I will see y'all next week. Bye.